No ram owner likes exhaust gas recirculation. But for the majority of us who can't delete our EGR, we're stuck with soot going back into the intake system and clogging the factory intake elbow and grid heater. And the longer you own the truck, the harder you work it, the worse the airflow restrictions get. Power and fuel economy goes in the toilet. Wait till you see the soot on this fifth gen Ram up at Protect Diesel. It's bad. I'll let Brad explain. Uh, today in the shop, we got a 2019 Ram 3500. Uh, this truck came in with low power, black smoke, uh, not building any boost. Uh, so obviously we checked the turbo, we checked the air filter, make sure it's not plugged or any restrictions. Uh, got looking around under the hood, we noticed that uh, it had a brand new EGR valve and then we found out that the truck actually just came from a dealership somewhere and they changed the EGR valve. So it must have had EGR codes or maybe they thought that's why the truck wasn't building any boost. So we took the EGR valve off. This is the new valve from the dealer right there and we uh, pulled the, put a camera down in the intake horn and noticed that the whole inside of the intake horn is full of soot and carbon. So here's a look at the factory intake horn. As you can see, it's almost completely plugged off with carbon and soot. And then you come up here and you take a look at your grid heater assembly. There's your intake runner. It is 100% plugged all the way through. It's actually amazing that the thing even had enough air getting through it to idle in the first place. If you can get a good look right in there, she's completely plugged off. This truck already has issues with the infamous grid heater failure. These bolts like to break off and go through number six cylinder. Everybody's aware of it. We've done lots of previous videos on this grid heater failure. Um, this particular thing here is just, you know, trucks with factory emissions. The EGR systems create all of this carbon and soot and it can accumulate on that grid heater and plug up and then the engine can't breathe and you have no power. In this case here, if this customer had have had a Banks Monster Ram installed in this truck, the Banks Monster Ram has a straight through bed plate design like this. So there is nothing for any of that carbon or soot to get stuck on. Um, if you're running, you know, 50 state emissions uh, on, your, on your truck, you don't have to worry about that. You know, here's your intake horn on the Banks Monster Ram you know, in comparison to the factory, it's, it's, it's a heck of a lot bigger. So you got a way more airflow. This situation here, we're going to uh, get the rest of this thing apart and we're gonna install a Banks Monster Ram on this guy's truck, clean everything up, and we're gonna get him back up and running and on the road. And he'll drive this thing for years to come.